Yo guys, what is going on? Thank you for checking out the video. So today we are talking about the Nelson Rig Hurricane Dual Sport Slash Enduro Tank Bag. It's also waterproof, so let's get right into it. First things first, we need to turn this bike around so we can get some cinematic shots. So whenever I buy parts or accessories for my bike, there's three general characteristics that I always consider. These are price, aesthetics, and usability. Price. This thing is going to cost you $76.99. Let me double check the price. Today on October 20th, it is $76.99. So there you go. Similar bags to this are gonna be like the Wolfman Enduro bag. Those cost typically like $150 plus. Yep, $144.99. So basically double the price. In my book, that's too much to spend, especially on this type of bike. I don't have the cash to spend on it, so I needed something that was cheap, but also was gonna work great. Now just because it's cheaper doesn't mean they skimped on any products. Nelson Rig is very much renowned, or I don't know about renowned, but they're very much respected in the motorcycle industry. So it's not any sort of like Amazon crap that you get for 40 bucks. So 76 bucks still isn't pocket change. It's still a good amount of money, but it's definitely a good middle ground when comparing this to options like, uh, you know, Kriega or Wolfman, for example. So next up is gonna be functionality, and this is a functional beast, I guess you could say. This fits pretty much everything I need. It's got a phone pocket on top, you can open it up. It's actually waterproof, you can see. This little cover here, it makes it waterproof. But you have a ton of space inside. This is super helpful when you're bringing out around like a mirrorless or DSLR camera. I don't know how big of a DSLR could fit, but it fits my Sony A5100 with a kit lens perfectly. I keep tools in here. I'll usually keep like a gym parking pass up top, but you can also take your phone, pull this back, slide it in and now you've got navigation. You don't have to use a ram mount or anything to put it on the bars. If anyone has experience with ram mounts, you would know on a single cylinder bike, it destroys the camera, so my camera's already been destroyed from that. So maybe a good idea just to use this instead. It works great, you can do touchscreen through it. The only thing I'll mention is if you have touchscreen gloves on, it doesn't work through this little film. So that's the only bummer, but I'll take it. Just for reference, I shoved a bunch of random here, this includes a half-broken Allen key tool, a roll of tape, a magnetic key hider, a can of spray paint, random box of butt splices. So, can fit, oh, sorry, and a roll of electrical tape. So it can fit a ton of stuff. Um, generally what I put in there is a little mini Manfrotto tripod. I'll put the camera itself in there. Extra GoPro batteries I'll slide in up top. You could put SD cards in here. Um, it's not only limited to like camera equipment, obviously. So you can put your gloves in here, little snacks. You can fit like a Red Bull or a Monster Can in there. Um, whatever you like. Now, like I said, functionality for this thing is awesome. It doesn't get in your way at all when you're doing wheelies or anything like that. You can see I'm all the way up. You can still even sit with a passenger on the back, scooch up, and it's not gonna be uncomfortable or you know, sort of annoying to use or have there. The only thing I'll mention that I've noticed is sometimes when I'm slid a little far forward and doing wheelies and I pull back, I will have the inside of my thigh just push against this little clip here, which sometimes can leave a little black and blue mark. Aside from that, now that I know what happens, I sort of know how to avoid it, and that's just by sliding it further back, so not a huge deal. Now, if for whatever reason you do want to remove the bag, it is as simple as this. One, two, three, four. Boom, it's off. So if you're like going into a hotel, you're going into a restaurant, you're scared you have like important items in here, you can just take it off that easily. Yo guys, this is Future Connor. I forgot to mention one other single thing about the usability of this, and that's that it doesn't actually block the gas cap. So huge deal there in that you don't have to take the whole tank bag off itself to access the gas cap. You can just remove it as normal. It doesn't get in the way whatsoever. So that is another benefit in terms of ease of use, functionality of the bag altogether. All right guys, so third and final thing on this bag is going to be the aesthetics. And as you can tell, I love the way it looks. I think it looks sweet. Um, I think it gives it a sort of adventure ready look, um, but it also isn't detrimental to the way the bike looks. I think honestly it looks better with it. I was scared that I was only going to want to have this on when I needed it or I was doing bigger trips or carrying camera equipment around. But since putting it on, I literally haven't removed it. It's so helpful to put like your wallet in here or your phone because like for instance, when you're riding, you've got your wallet in your back pocket. Sometimes they can fall out. I speak from experience. Um, so it's just so helpful to throw in there. You can run to the gas station, grab a bottle of water, etc. Just super helpful, super versatile. So I just realized I guess the only thing I didn't touch on was how you actually mount it. It's pretty straightforward. You have four mounting points, two of which go on the frame itself, and the other two which wrap around the forks and just hook under. It is way, way simple to do, super easy. I don't think I really need to show you guys. 
Anyways guys, that is gonna do it for the video on the Nelson Rig Hurricane Enduro slash dual sport tank bag. I hope it was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it. I would 100% recommend it. I think it's totally worth it for the money. I think Nelson Rig's a good brand because they make quality items, but they're not too expensive. Shout out Nelson Rig, sponsor me if you want to. I do plan on getting a Nelson Rig tail bag eventually once I get a rear rack, as well as the saddle bags for longer trips, but we'll get there when we get there. I'll catch you next time, peace.